Zeta Ophiuchi, also known as Zeta Off, is a solitary star residing within the constellation of Ophiuchus. With an apparent magnitude of plus 2.6, it claims an unremarkable title of the third brightest star within the already not particularly notable constellation. The star lies some 458 light years from Earth. These two facts may not immediately captivate your attention, but this star's truer lore is hidden from view, leaving the star enveloped in a veil of mystery. Hi everyone, Vega here, and in today's video we visit the Ophiuchus constellation to unveil a mysterious star that may just blow your minds. So, let's get to it. I'll admit it, I didn't know much about the Ophiuchus constellation other than that its principal star, Racelhake, is an interesting GEK class binary system. I'll also admit that in my searches, I'd come to the erroneous conclusion that the nearest O-type star to our sun was the wonderful star of Naos, or Zeta Pupis, located a distant 1,100 light years away. To my surprise, one of our channel's subscribers gently mentioned to me I'd missed one, Zeta Ophiuchi. Obviously the first thought is how can I have missed one? It seemed logical that the biggest, brightest and most powerful stars in our skies, those of the O-class wolf ray at persuasion, would logically also fall into lists of the brightest stars in our skies. Well that's where the mystery begins. The star of Zeta Ophiuchi is over 19 times more massive than our sun, and a luminosity of an incredible 74,000 times brighter. So you might reasonably ask yourself the question, how could such a gargantuan powerhouse of a star, located a mere 458 light years away, be so faint? The thing is, Zeta Off finds itself encircled by the SH227 nebula, aptly dubbed the Kobold. What this means is a significant portion of the star's radiance is absorbed by interstellar dust surrounding it, and in particular, the light at the blue end of the electromagnetic spectrum. If it weren't surrounded by these gaseous and dusty veils, Zeta Ophiuchi would unsurprisingly emerge as one of the most luminous stars in our night sky. Actually, let's not beat around the bush. It would be the most luminous of all, and by some margin indeed. Zeta Ophiuchi is a colossus of a celestial body. As already mentioned, more than 19 times the sun's mass, and it's expanded to 8 times the solar radius. The star unsurprisingly also has an impressive bow shot, an intriguing phenomenon created as it traverses unusually dense dust clouds near the Roe Ophiuchi cloud complex. Indeed, this phenomenon has been captured by NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, as we can see in this incredible image. Zeta Off's stellar classification currently stands as 095, a main sequence star for now, with an effective temperature of 34,300 Kelvin, typical of intensely hot O-type stars. The star also exhibits rapid rotation with surface temperatures significantly higher around the poles than at the equator. What this all means is that the projected rotational velocity could reach a staggering 400 km per second, which is nearby the critical threshold where the star's disintegration would loom and blow it apart completely. Just 3 million years old, the young Zeta Arc is also a variable star and undergoes fluctuations in luminosity, and is somewhat typical of a Beta C5 variable. Currently residing midway through its initial phase of stellar evolution, it remains on the mean sequence though for the time being, but it is poised to expand into a red supergiant star at some point. Once this occurs, that star would probably eventually dwarf even the orbit of Jupiter if it were in our own system, becoming most likely the largest star in our local vicinity, usurping the mighty Betelgeuse and Antares. Ultimately though, Zeta Alpha will culminate in a supernova, potentially birthing a neutron star, or potentially even a degenerate object even smaller, sometimes known as a black hole. This all depends not on the overall mass of the star, but crucially, the mass of the core at the time of collapse. Zeta Alpha is no slouch either, and this remarkable star is also racing through space at speeds exceeding 85,000 km an hour, or 30 km per second, and it may well be a runaway star. It was potentially ejected at some point in the past by dynamic interactions amongst possibly multiple stars, or perhaps more likely, as a remnant of a huge binary star system, disrupted by separate and independent type 2 supernova explosion of its partner. Interestingly, the pulsar PSR B1929 plus 10 does actually share a common galactic trajectory, so it's possible the two objects had a very explosive relationship in the past but have now left each other in a strange kind of celestial divorce. Lying on the ecliptic plane, a captivating a celestial encounter in 2010 meant Zeta Roth experienced a brief occultation in April of that year, when asteroid 824 Anastasia momentarily veiled its luminosity. 
In today's graphic, we imagine what the star would look like if the dust cloud that surrounded it were suddenly to disappear. Incredible as we see here, the mighty blue-white star grows in luminance, and once we remove the veil of dust, Zeta Ophiuchi would shine into an apparent magnitude of minus 1.99, from of course 458 light years distance. This would outshine every other star apart from the Sun, and indeed most of the planets bar Venus, Jupiter and the Moon. Mars and Mercury would be occasionally brighter, but only on their very brightest days. Zeta Ophiuchi is an unremarkable second magnitude star in the serpent-bearing constellation of Ophiuchus. Located near the celestial equator, it lies along the ecliptic plane and can be occulted periodically by asteroids. Hidden by a mysterious and dusty veil, the star is the closest O-class star to our solar system and a true Goliath of our local area. An incredibly fast-moving star, in its past it hides a very, very violent relationship with one or more stars and it continues to dazzle us with a huge bow wave that can be detected through the dust by our telescopes. 74,000 times brighter than our sun. If that dust were removed, it would become the brightest star in the night sky by some distance, and also shine many hours of daytime too. Hiding away for now, Zeta Ophiuchi is burning fast and moving rapidly. Indeed, there's barely time to celestially blink before an eventual fireworks display of a supernova lights up everything in our local vicinity. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you'd like to support the channel further, you could consider buying me a coffee and I'll link this in the description. Thanks to those of you who have already done so. If you have any videos or subjects that you'd like to see brought to life, don't forget to let me know in the comments below, and it could be your idea next week that shows up. Take good care of yourselves and look after your friends and family well, and I'll see you on the next one.